Hey YouTube, I've been working on a death ray and unfortunately it hasn't worked. Instead of spewing a high photon beam of death, it just makes bubbles. In reality, it is a bubble gun. It started out life just like one of these. I got this from the local pound store. It's just a no batteries required bubble gun. I mean, look at the engineering side of this. Isn't that incredible? It's beautiful. I love it. Love it. Anyway, got one of them. And to get this look, I just painted it up nice. And I'm going to tell you how I did that right now. So, first thing I did was sand it down. That helps the spray paint stick. So, gave it a nice sand. Then I put on some details just to make it a bit more interesting shape-wise. Some little plastic fins here. Big one up the top. And then I gave the whole thing a bait spray of silver. Once that had properly cured, and I left it for a couple of days, I masked off the fins to keep them silver. And then went to start on the scratched paint effect that you can see on the side here and all over it. Now there's a whole load of different ways to do this and what I used was petroleum jelly or Vaseline. Works great. So what you do is once you've got your silver base paint on, you've masked off the pieces that you actually want to keep silver like these fins in my case. You just put on some Vaseline on the edges, places where the paint would chip off and wear anyway. Then you give it a whole thing, a coat of whatever color you want. I decided to go with red. I think that looks quite nice. Then once the red paint is all dried, you can take a rag and wipe it down and places where you've put the petroleum jelly, won't, uh, the red paint won't stick to it. It's easy as that. So you just wipe it off and then there you go. Turns out like this. Once that is finished, I gave it an inking with just some calligraphy ink and I also used some just normal acrylic paint watered down and went crazy, washed it all over, get it really mucky and then wipe away and just do layers and layers of that. Once you're happy with the result, happy with the way it looks, I usually hit it with a, give it a coat of clear spray paint as well just to lock everything down. And there you have it, that's all it is really. A broken death ray gun. Or maybe those are bubbles of doom, who knows. Bubbles of doom, we'll call it that. It's a really, really fun and easy effect, the scratch paint effect. Fun to do, great results, and a cool little thing to have. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video. <laughs> hey guys, uh, let's just stop and tell we can delete that one. I've got a cannon walking on top of me. Kenna, what are you doing? Where are you going, Kenna? What are you doing, Kenna? What are you doing? Come in? Come in or out? Okay. And unfortunately it hasn't worked. Instead of spewing a high photon beam of death, ow, <laughs> it gets really slippery and you can't use it. Right, I need more coffee. We'll go with that. <laughs>